Alright, before we get started with something complex with the ZBrush 4, I'm going to kind of go into masking. Um, masking is the ability to freeze clay. Now, ZBrush 4 relies heavily on masking with some of the newer stuff. So let's have a review lesson on masking for a sec. Let's go into Lightbox, and in Lightbox I'm going to grab this sphere. And let's just practice with um, drawing masks for a second. So if you hold um, Control and Command, that'll add a mask. Control and Alt will subtract a mask out. Okay, so add, subtract, wax on, wax off. Okay, so as long as you get that down, uh, let's look at some of the new features here. These tools are amazing. Let's look at the f the nuclear weapon first. This one right here, it is the mask curve tool. Okay, so let's hold control and let's draw a mask in. So I can hold command like this. But see how it's a straight line? As I'm holding control and command, I'm going to tap alt. Tap Alt, tap Alt, and you can see by tapping Alt, I get this. Wow, right? That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, certain things you got to know about masking is if you hold Control and click on it, it blurs it. If you hold Control and Alt and click on it, it sharpens it. And you can do all this over here also by going in here to Blur Mask or Sharpen Mask. So in case you don't want to use the hotkeys. You can also clear the mask over here. Alright, so now that we got masking out of the way, well, let's look at the other tool here for a sec. We have uh, the pen mask. So Control, hold down command and I get this so this is just a big giant blob tool right what's the difference between this well the outside edges are smoother that's what that's what's nice about this this form right here so this is kind of like the pen tool in Illustrator here the rectangle mask tool is probably by far one of the most useful ones. With uh, control, alt and command, I can clean out entire mask area. With uh, control and command held down, I can mask straight lines. Boom, boom. Okay. And all a mask is for is this. You know it. It basically freezes the clay in an area so it has no effect over that area. And that way when you're drawing in here, you can get some nifty patterns. Okay, so now that we got masking out of the way, let's look at the next feature within ZBrush that relies heavily on masking.